but let's jump into it. And I'm going to turn the chat off on screen. That's going to get in the way. There we go. All right. So Vector Witch. So Vector Witch is a paid AI service that uh, allows you to upload images, give descriptions and create things. And it spits out these really, really cool uh, vector images. Um, it's about 10 bucks a month for a hundred. And unlike some of the other uh, AI companies, uh, it's a one for one, one credit gets you one image. Uh, but if you don't want to pay for it, you just want to test out their stuff. Uh, you can jump into the community gallery. Uh, some of my designs that uh, I've released publicly, you can go in here, you can download these, you can print these, you can do whatever you want uh, with these. So this is, uh, they've got, I just pulled up national parks and the creator of the site actually did a, a logo for each one of the national parks. So <laughs> Bill, I'm going to try. No promises, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I've got a, um, this is not my favorite song. I wish I could skip, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, so tonight I have a task that was given to me to do another Christmas ornament for, um, my father-in-law's dog that passed away last year. I think it was last year. And I've tried a couple different things. I've used chat GPT. I've tried Gemini. I've tried all the free services and I said, you know what? I pay for this. I might as well give it a shot. So we shall see. And yeah, well, I'll engrave something at the end of this so that uh, you guys can see. So this is what the interface looks like. Uh, you have the option of creating images if you want to create an image or you have the option to uh, create vectors, which is what I do nine times out of 10 is just use a vector. And you can see, um, <laughs> aside from these, this was just a, a prompt entrance that didn't have any, any associated graphic with it. But all of these, the pets, all these came from photographs and I printed these three here on the bottom where well, you can't see the third one. I printed these three and did ornaments out of them uh, and sold them to a customer and the customer paid me 40 bucks for three ornaments. So, um, my subscription level is, is $20 a month. So I've already paid for two months worth of services by selling three Christmas ornaments, which I thought was pretty freaking fantastic. So, but yeah, uh, you can upload almost anything. That's my dog bandit. Uh, you can upload pictures and it does a fantastic job of converting these down, uh, into a vector graphic so that you can put those into, to almost anything. I did uh, koozies, Christmas ornaments. I've done patchwork. Uh, some of you might've seen on the, sh on the show, we did, um, tank radios patches. Uh, I've got some stuff for a couple of, um, koozie ideas here that I've been working on. Um, not this hat, but the hat uh, that I was wearing earlier is this out of breath club. Actually, let me see here. Let me go back to chitty chatty. So that's that uh, came from the same website. So I love this website, but let's take a look, see what we can get out of it. So we're going to start by giving it something to work with. And let's go with that image right there. And we'll go with, let's see, let's do engraving first. See what, cause you, you, these different styles will give you different results, but we'll, we'll play with it here. Crop this image. Engraving vector shot. Let's see what it does. <laughs> so that was our first go. And that's completely doable. Like I would totally burn that onto something for someone. And that was all we asked it to do was to get rid of the background and give us some sort of um, image. Let's try it again. I want to use the same image. And we're going to go with drawing this time. Oh, it adds up quick. Um, I'm still in the. See? The, 
boom right there i'm just gonna stop <laughs> that's why this software is freaking fantastic <laughs> you know me too well all right let's get some settings in here i'm just gonna wing this because i'm not 100 percent sure but i know we're gonna do fill uh, we're putting this on a piece of wood, so maybe about a 080. Let's go with maybe 30% power so I don't burn my house down. 30, and let's go with maybe let's see what let's see what the manufacturer. This is something I was gonna I'm gonna address in a video coming out, but uh, so the manufacturers of these lasers, and Joe Brent knows more better than I, but they uh, they produce these tables. They kind of give you a starting point. And with the blue light, uh, it's not basswood that I'm going to be doing. But yeah, we're right on the money there. 30% power, 13,000 uh, millimeters per minute. Let's go there. That's another thing about um, having the... Uh, the vector is you have tool paths so it'll actually the laser will actually draw the shape of what you're about to engrave so if we wanted to go a little bit bigger let's turn that off back yeah there we go that looks pretty good Falcon A1 Pro with a 20 watt and a two watt. Yeah, there you go. So 20 watt blue. So I'm using blue light right now and uh, a two watt IR. Uh, IR is fantastic for uh, metals and stuff like that. And some um, uh, layered acrylic, things like that. So I, I have a two watt um, IR. It's slow, you have to run it slow, but you can get a good engrave on on um, metal business cards uh, you can get a nice white engrave uh, on metal business cards um, you can engrave slate with it get a, a really nice uh, light coloring with slate and this is 20 watts and we're only using 30 percent power to get this great engrave but this is just like anything else just get in there and mess around with it man um, all, I've, 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 I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought like these little uh, wooden planks just so I could practice on it. I also do like, I get like cardboard. So like after my Amazon packages are done, I just cut, cut cardboard into these little strips and these are great to practice on. Um, to an extent, yes. Uh, my rotary extension will be here. Um, Hopefully by the end of the month, which will, I can put a tumbler or something on it and it'll rotate it. But yeah, as long as I can make that curved surface semi-flat, yeah. Um, I've, I've engraved on some pretty big Christmas, round Christmas glass ornaments. Just have to keep the graphic kind of on the top of it. Once the laser travels a certain distance away, uh, it'll lose focus and you won't be able to remove any of the material you're trying to remove. But as long as it can maintain within a, a few millimeters of focus, it does a, it'll do a great job on round surfaces. Um, now, Joe Brett has in his Xtool software, it has a curved surface mapping system where it takes it uses the camera and will take a picture of the curved surface and will tell you how big that graphic can be on that curved surface, which I think is awesome. I think my next my ne <laughs> my next. Uh, Laser is probably going to be something from Xtool because I want that Xtool software. It's fantastic. Hit me up. I'll take care of you. Um, as soon as my rotary gets here, I'm going to be doing some some uh, tumblers. So just let me know. Awesome. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did a Bible last uh, couple nights ago for somebody. It was terrifying because I was afraid I was going to melt it, but. Come on, focus. There we go. 
Isn't that crazy? SVG. SVG is where it's at.